Houstonians who have donated to the PPE drive today and off the bat I want to thank Project Cure. Thank you, thank you Janet. Uh, I want to thank uh, Shania, I'm representing today Wendy, thank you. And then I want to thank the Astros Foundation Choir, thank you uh, because quite frankly without these organizations and, and persons coming together uh, this would not be happening. I want to thank all the volunteers. Thank you all so very, very much. And all the uh, two box truck uh, load of supplies, N95 masks, gowns, you name it, uh, sanitizers. Can I thank Houstonians enough? I mean, one thing I've uh, found over and over again is that Houstonians, when asked, uh, they will give. And they keep giving. And I, I, I just can't thank, uh, thank you enough. I certainly want to, to uh, highlight the Chevron um, Marathon, Houston Chevron Marathon, for donating all their gloves from the, mar from the, from the, from the marathon. Uh, thank them so very much for, what, for their generous contribution. The Pakistani Association Alliance for Disaster Relief, one pallet of supplies, N95 and sanitizers. Thank you so very much for being so very generous. Coastal supplies, 50 gallons. Yeah, come on, follow them. Coastal supplies with 50 gallons of sanitizer and death care providers. So again, uh, from uh, the depths of my heart, on behalf of all of Houston, all of Houston, let me thank you all so very, very much. And now let me first let me turn it down to to Twyla, uh, with the Houston Foundation. And again, they've stepped up on multiple levels uh, because Jim has just been very, very helpful with his connection to a global supply chain. I'll pick up the medical center, have in the city uh, to bring in needed supplies to the city of Houston. I'm Paula, representing the Astro Foundation. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, thanks Amazing. to everyone who came out today uh, to, to help with this supply drive. Janir, your generosity in matching the contributions to Project Cure up to $50,000 is unprecedented. We're so excited to be great partners of yours. You know, what a, uh, what a great day, and part of what makes me proud to be a Houstonian are the Houstonians that step up the plate, step up to the day. Uh, one of our season ticket holders reached out and said, hey, I've got a young man, they're, they're, uh, it's a distillery here in town, and they're making hand sanitizers, and they want to bring, uh, bring a, a pallet load of hand sanitizers back by. So, University of Houston sophomore, he's somewhere around here, Juan Carlos Ma Martinez, Day Dalcoa with Gulf Coast Distilleries. They have over 100,000 gallons of hand sanitizers. Wow. Amen. Of that, they have $100,000 to our first responders and hospitals. Over $300,000 in hand sanitizers. That's a lot of clean hands in my book. The other one that came through today, and again, one of our, our uh, investors yesterday sent me an email and said, hey, here's somebody you may want to talk to. And along comes Wiley Rogers with Signature Aspen. And Wiley is a sophomore at Stanford. I believe he and Juan Carlos must have gone to Episcopal together. Uh, I believe that's the connection, but they're good friends. And Juan Carlos had reached out and introduced over 25,000 of these little jewels. It's kind of hard to talk through, so I'm not wearing it, but they're the face mask. Houston strong, Houston strong and certainly Houston proud. But they produced over 25,000 of these. He came up from Kima today to make a donation to our drive. They've donated 2,500 
to the hospitals, the local hospitals. And so we're just so proud to have our fans, the Astros fans, so many of them come out, have come out today to donate, to, to help on our efforts, but we couldn't do it without all the fabulous volunteers and the media, your support is great and that pushing the word out, it's not too late, never too late to donate to Project Cure and Chenier is gonna match that up to 50,000. So again, Houston strong and Houston proud, thank you. Thanks, Representative Shania, Wendy. Thank you. Today we found out, I mean, there are people on the front lines in Houston fighting this pandemic for us and in our surrounding areas. We can't let them be out there without proper PPE. And so that is why we are here today doing what we're doing. As they have mentioned, we are here to put down a public matching opportunity, dollar for dollar, to Project Cure. And as you see on the box chart behind me, it's projectcure.org. You go to the website, you choose the Chenier Energy Match, and we will match dollar for dollar up to $50,000 this week. We are only halfway there. The last numbers we got were around 25,000 has come in so far. So no donation is too small, please consider by jumping in if you don't have PPE, but you'd like to help with this cause. Today is just one part of over a million dollar commitment that Chenier has made to fighting or responding to this COVID epidemic. So we are really proud to be here. Chenier's hometown is Houston. Those on the front line who are testing us, treating us, feeding us, are our hometown heroes. And we are really proud to be here and supporting them with this PPE drive. And we are looking forward to doing more in the future. Thank you. Thanks, Wendy. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna make that uh, with dollar for dollar, that fifty thousand dollar match. I, I I know with the, with with the greatest degree of certainty. I already I already know that's gonna happen. So let's thank uh, thanks to uh, one more time. Thank you all very very much. And now, Janet, let me bring you up for Project Cure. You all have done this and in Denver, and now you're leading it here. And, and the turnout has just been tremendous. I can't, I can't thank Project Cure. And now, Janet, come on, come on. Thank you, everybody. What a privilege it is to be here on behalf of Project Cure today. Thank you so much for our partners, for Chenier Energy, for the Astros Foundation, for the city of Houston for the students, uh, future doctors and future PAs who have come out from Baylor College of Medicine and volunteered with us today. Yay, we've been out here. It's about parts and making sure we get these supplies to those who need them. At Project Cure, we like to say we're saving the world one cargo container at a time. But right now, today, we've been saving the world one box at a time. Some of the most touching donations that have came out here today have been people with one box of gloves. A gentleman came up with one face protector, uh, and you could tell it was well used and well loved. So to the Houston community who has come out here and been here and, been here and, and just stepped up, showing their appreciation for the first responders in Houston, thank you so much. Project Cure stands ready to continue to support the city of Houston, to support our other communities in Arizona, in Illinois, in Colorado, in Philadelphia, in Kansas City, Missouri, and in Nashville, Tennessee. We are here to fight with all of you to end this COVID crisis. Please continue to support us through this wonderful Chenier grant and matching opportunity through your donations. Those of you who need us, please go to that website, projectcure.org. We want to be here for you. Thank you, Houston. Thank you, everybody who's been here today. Thanks, Shannon. And people have just been so, so generous. Um, look, Amboy Javad is, is making a contribution, but Muhammad, well, Muhammad Sheikh has been working with us so very, very closely. Why don't you just come on? Instead of me repeating it, why don't you make it? Thank you, man. On behalf of the Alliance for Disaster Relief, Pakistan Association, and Eastern Karachi Sister City, and all other organizations, we are grateful to be part of the, all the drive, all the efforts that the city is making in the COVID-19 relief efforts. On behalf of our Chief Veteran, Mr. Sayyid Javed Danwar, I would like to announce $10,000 donation to the mayor, whenever, which organization he wants to donate, and make sure that within two days, we get the donation. Thank you. Thank you, Muhammad. I, I look again, uh, uh, just a big, huge thanks on behalf of so many. 
uh, Susan Christians, especially Vince, you know, thank you as well for your efforts and your entire team uh, as well. Now let me stop. If you have any questions to any of these individuals, this is a good time to ask uh, those questions to any of this. What is your response of the decision that Judge Hidalgo... This is just for the... I'm sorry. This is just, oh, this is just for, for the... For the oh, right now. Sorry. Yeah. This, is, this is part one. Right. <laughs> if there are no questions...